Good morning everyone. It's October 6, 2021. My neighbor's beagle's over here visiting. He's on a rabbit or something. He's visiting me today. He does that every now and then. Um, I want to do an addendum to a video that I made a month ago on September 6th. I was talking about current affairs and what I thought was happening and coming. And uh, I ended the video by talking about how governments take us to war when economies collapse. And I talked about how China and Russia were trying to bypass the U.S. dollar, the petrodollar, trade oil. And uh, when I said to, when economies collapse, they generally go to war. And that's the way it's always been, forever. Uh, especially a major collapse. Not just a recession, but a major collapse. And China's economy is not doing that good right now. And they're having problems with their electrical supply and getting coal from Australia. And, uh, and they're shutting factories down. And they get a lot of money from us. They get a huge amount of money from the United States because we buy so much of their stuff. And, uh, but lately, to add to that, we've got the Taiwan situation. And they've been, China's been flying over with contingents of aircraft over Taiwan airspace. And uh, they're, they've been doing it for a long time now, but they're escalating it very rapidly and with bigger incursions. So, you know, I watched a video from Senator Tom Cotton and an admiral, they were talking about it, and they're very, both very concerned about what's happening. Now, Sky News of Australia has been doing in-depth reports about what's going on with China and how they're concerned about China attacking Taiwan. Now, we know China, when Xi Jinping says he's going to do something, he usually does it. And they've been saying they're going to take Taiwan for a, for a long time now. They said they were going to take uh, Hong Kong, and they did. They took Hong Kong within, they said they, were, they took Hong Kong about three years earlier than they, than they had planned on doing it. And they used the pandemic to do it. But, so that's one reason why they were able to get away with that. They did it during the pandemic. But this deal with Taiwan, you know, Taiwan is a huge manufacturing base and we get a lot of stuff from them too. They make quality steel, quality products. And uh, they have the world's largest semiconductor manufacturing facilities there. And one of the biggest ones is TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor. And they're definitely, China wants that. They're definitely going to want to get a hold of that because of the shortages and stuff right now. It's expensive to start up semiconductor facilities. And the United States is way behind on that. So if they, if China attacks Taiwan, and they will at some point, but they're ramping it up right now, it, it could very easily turn into a, a global war very quickly, especially if the United States backs Taiwan, like we're supposed to do, because they're an ally. They're not in NATO, but they are an ally of ours. So when that happens, it's going to be on. You know, the United States hasn't been in a, a major war, real a major war, since World War II, and that didn't affect our mainland as much as this will. We go to, if we go to war with uh, China, you know, they've got nukes, they've got nuclear subs, they've got the capabilities to cause us great damage here in our own country. And they've got over a billion people. They have one of the largest militaries in the world, and they've used all the money we've given them, or most of it, to, when we buy their stuff, they've used it to build their military. They've got one of the biggest navies in the world now. Maybe the, may the biggest navy, I don't know. I'm no expert on that. But I just want to put that out there. 
If we go to war with China, there's a little newbie right there. If we go to war with China, it's on. You think there are shortages now? It's crazy. I heard a guy call on a local radio show this morning. A guy I've never heard before, and I've been listening to that radio show for 20 years, and I'm a regular caller. But uh, he called in and said he was having problems getting things from the big box club Sam's. He didn't mention Sam's, but this is the only big box membership club we've got here in this area. So having a problem getting things and they're limiting purchases and that's the first I've heard of that here but if we go to war with China it's on so just take that into consideration get yourself your mind prepared get it into a war a global war mindset don't panic but don't discount it either so just keep prepping take care and uh, I'll talk to you later y'all have a great one